24-2 comes next. Uh, pedigree on these 24s would be uh, power play, quite frankly. Uh, their mom would uh, be the, the bread guilt that we got from Sloan in their most recent sow sale. Uh, I believe she brought 19, 20,000, somewhere in that range. And uh, a really good litter. And I made the comment that, uh, that there's some differences in, in terms of bulk and mass uh, uh, within that particular litter. Uh, if you're an avid feeder of paling, this, this guilt <laughs> may not be for you. Uh, but uh, uh, all joking aside, I do think if you get her off a self feeder and just cool her down, uh, uh, one for that kind of feature and with uh, boy everything's still in check yeah she she's interested and she's interested in her own direction and you know we, we've got green skinny ones we've got bold style ones this is definitely not a green skinny one this one is really stout that one is uh, i mean she's moderate uh, on frame size she's very stout skulled got a huge rib got a monster top and rump working in her big set of bones and she's still flexible i mean she's still able to move with with all that stuff just uh you know again to slow her down on protein and be where you need to be that one is easily dual purpose i mean that one's got monster muscle uh shape for a, for a market type of deal uh, we had uh, i believe a 44 four guilt in the first sale last year that yes. resembles her quite a little bit yeah it uh, was i think we let her mate to um shock and all yeah. yeah and she was one of those i think you mentioned it was if you like the little cute jackpot guilts that's not your one if you like them stout this is your yeah. one yeah and she's one one of those kind again just type and kind wise you you buy the ones you like uh, the uh, style wise and then feed them accordingly both kinds have to be fed the right way and she's a very interesting intriguing piece will be fun to watch that is uh, 24-2 guilt